to the pride. Welcome to the pride. See the fire in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Brothers need to stick together. As a team, we can make it wherever. Just tell me how you feel. Yeah. Just tell me if it's real. Hey. <laughs> What a time, what a time, what a time for a black man to be alive Living in the struggle while trying to keep our composure Killing each other while trying to look for that exposure We all just want to make it, we should do it as a team Build each other up and they can't even say a thing Me and all my brothers just stuck together like glue It's us against the world and you know what we finna do ha. Woo! Pop a bottle, we in here for celebration We just wanna be the leaders that's pushing the generation Take a seat and find your zone for the topic of conversation yeah. Find a way for a positive revelation Now this really ain't the time to be thinking about yourself Cause we just a bunch of hustlers that's trying to give out some help yeah. We turn the cubs and the lions inside of the den Come and join the brotherhood if you really just wanna win Hey. This your boy Daniel Lyons and Evans And you are inside the den and episode, uh, uh, episode one, season two starts right now. As always, this is a live, unrehearsed, unscripted show. Uh, and we are super excited to be here today. It has been a long time coming. Uh, and I have with me one of my, my very special guests. He is a hometown uh, local celebrity here, Mr. J-Lock. Introduce yourself, brother. I don't know how I'm local. So I'm not even from Raleigh. But yo, what's up? How y'all doing? I am Jay Lock, uh, CEO of Alpha by Jay Lock, uh, recording artist, songwriter, uh, all around rock star. You know? Yeah, I didn't want to introduce him because I don't know all the things that he does. He's kind of like me. He got a bunch of different. Yeah. Uh, he wear a bunch of different hats. No pun intended. A bunch of different hats. Do a bunch of different things. Kind of like me. Uh, I met this guy about what a year and a half ago, yeah. and yeah. Um, just been vibing ever since. Man, he is one of my. Uh, mentors, friend, one of my heroes, man, because he does a lot for the community, and he reminds me a lot of myself, so uh, I wanted to have him on the show last season, but things didn't work out, and I'm glad it didn't, because now we're on a whole different, whole different wavelength right now, man, and, and uh, just tell me a little bit about how you got started, because you know we just just celebrated your first year. Yeah, but one year in the, in the mall. In the time of the mall. Yeah. How did all this come about, man? Faith. Faith, it really happened with faith, man. Uh, I had a good friend of mine who was, I was, I was, I was hand to hand in the streets, you know, I had a little blue bag and I was going to barber shops and stopping people in the middle of the street, you know, talking to them about the product. And um, my people kept telling me I should come check out the mall. And um, one day I did, and I've been here ever since. And so, some of y'all who don't know, that Apple was, 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 uh, was born. During the pandemic, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, true yeah. entrepreneurship man uh, took lemons and made lemonade, brother. I mean, it's one of those things that uh, you can't write a script like this. Uh, right. Pandemic had everything shut down, and this was during the time when they had the barber shop shut down. Yeah. A lot of guys started growing their beards out because they couldn't get to the barber shop. A lot of women started when they had natural, they couldn't get to get that weave tightened up, they couldn't get that lace front done, and they started wearing their hair natural. Uh, and then J-Lock uh, came up with the idea of, of, of making sure that, you know, how are we going to keep our, our stuff together, yeah. you know, yeah. health-wise, man, it's looking good while you're doing, doing a pandemic and, yeah. and a shutdown. And J-Lock, uh, you know, started this. And, and so you have a, uh, your own, very own kids that come out doing all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and then how long have you been known this guy? A um, long time, actually. Yeah, I've been going. I've been vibing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's cool when you out there, you know, just living, man. You never know how connections come back full circle. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, you know, when it's time, it, it happens. Yes. I'm not, I'm not, I don't rush things. You know, I'm, I'm very patient. Music has taught me that. Um, success will teach you that. You can't rush things. You gotta, you gotta stay the course. Yeah. Definitely got to stay the course, stay humble, because everything happens in season. Yes. Like I said, I'm glad that uh, he wasn't on season one, because now we're in a whole different yeah. platform now. Yeah. Uh, but just a little bit about our relationship, man, when I, when I, I was actually uh, wanted to start a clothing line uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, Lions Product Apparel, and I got this 
mentorship program that I do a lot of young men. Uh, and I wanted to smell that kind of solidified, you know, what we're doing inside the Lions Pride. The Lions Pride, the Lions Den. Uh, what that alpha smell smell like? And the young lady on Facebook uh, introduced me to the product. And before I smelled the product, in my mind, I already knew what an alpha right. male smelled like. Right. You know, when I smelled the beard oil, I'm like, man, this is it. How can I be part of the team? Yeah, yeah. How can I be an ambassador for the, for the product, man? And yeah. that day, it's been, it's, ever since then, it's been yeah, like, yeah, alpha. Right. I don't care what you see. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. me with an alpha shirt on, yeah, like, yeah. I rock alpha more than I rock the Lions Pride yeah, because, yeah. you know, it, that's just kind of like, uh, you know, it's just one of the things that kind of, you know, just, just kind of, Points yeah. and what we're doing with yeah. the alpha male movement, the beers and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. When I first met him, I was I was I had no team. Yeah, yeah, had no team when I first yeah. met him, and then all of a sudden I say, let me go ahead and grow my beard out. I want to be able to be a part of the product. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, so yeah, he, he taught me how to how to how to grow my beard and everything. So it been dope. Yeah, man, he had me downstairs on the on the post board. Yeah, and all yeah, yeah. Of people yeah. Through, hey, I know when, who you when are. We, when we first yeah. opened. Yeah. I put it on the on the on the, on the joint. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been rocking out ever since. Yeah. yeah. So not only does he do that, you know, you heard him say he does music and everything. Yeah. Let's talk about one of your latest projects you got coming out. Right you know, music is one of the things for me, man. Where um, it's that's probably my most comfortable element. Yeah. So um, it's easy for me to you know I, I go in and out. I got these writing spells. I have moments where I'll just. Stay up all night and write for about a good two or three weeks, and then I might not touch it for the rest of the year. But um, I got a nice catalog, so I'm, j I'm going. I'm going to introduce this right now today on the show. I was going to release some of the singles that I already had, mm -hmm. but I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to wait until next year to release that whole project called Wait. But I am going to go in the studio next week. I'm going to record two new songs. Right? I haven't even wrote it yet. So why did you go on? Okay. Uh, just because timing. I think, um, you know, everything is, 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 is environment and time. And um, normally during the holidays, people get, um, deal with a lot of depression. You deal with a lot of um, anxiety. You deal with a lot of stuff. So I wanted to do something that's more kind of just help people process. I mean, we lost a lot of people this year. Oh, man. So um, I want to do something that's just going to encourage people to, um, you know, just be, be taking it easy and be thankful for what people have. So these two songs is, is kind of very um, organic, very, very, it has a real strong churchy vibe, uh -huh. but it also has that I'm thankful vibe, you know, I'm going to do two singles. I'm going to release them on the same day. And, uh, now, that's you know, it. you know, you was one of the ones that uh, encouraged me to start the show. So, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to wait till yeah. the first of the year. Yeah, absolutely. And we was having a conversation about, you know, uh, because and just just kind of give you a backstory. This is your first time watching this live podcast. Uh, you know what I mean? Y'all welcome, welcome to Inside the Den. Inside the Den is a platform where men like myself, J Lock, uh, can really sit down and talk about some manly issues, some yeah. worldly issues, not yeah. being judged about our different opinion. And in the words of Martin Luther King, we have to learn how to disagree without being violent disagreeable. Right. And so, uh, <laughs> and so, um, I was going to wait till the first of the year to start season two. And me and J Lock talked and they know. I think you should go ahead and, and start an ace out because this is going to be a very different holiday season. Yeah. A lot of people ain't going to have a grandma to take with them this year because yeah, yeah. of the COVID. And, you know, the show is, is, is meant for, you know, like a therapeutic type conversation. And I want to be able to give people a platform and be able to come and talk. Yeah. So I'm glad you convinced me to, to come out of the, out of the den. Uh, come out of the cave and, and, and yeah. not hibernate for a while. Yeah. Come out, but he had some 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 real uh, uh, tear jerker like banger songs coming out, man. And yeah. that, that's gonna be very uh, it's gonna be suitable for the holidays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, going through you know Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then the New Year. Yeah. Uh, but 
know, I'm so low key when I go home. You know, don't nobody know that I'm making bread unless it's like the person I'm going to see. Like, hey, look, I'll, I'll go and get out of I when I come into town, I got a destination, and I might go to RJ just because I love the turkey man. But that's the only way you're gonna see me. Man, I can't get so much good yeah. for going home and not announcing. Yeah, but I've always been able to. People, y'all know, y'all know how I do that. I'm real low key. I don't really be up there doing all that. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. Man. You gotta be able to enjoy your free time and your freedom, man. What? Free time? I mean, when you, when you blow up, I still ain't got no free time. Well, I mean, you be able to enjoy that mansion and own the dock of the bay and I tell you, and you know, I'm chair. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I'm not here. I'm not be like 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 relax. Yeah, that coat would be a lawn chair for no reason. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I'm just, where I'm at, where my mindset is now, because, you know, we talked to you as part of the legacy campaign. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. still going. Yeah. So, when you got that passion and that drive for building a legacy, yeah, it yeah. does not allow you to um, be comfortable. It brings rest. You, like, man, look, you yeah. ain't said nothing slick to a can of all for y'all outcast fans. Look. Yeah. The legacy mm -hmm. is going to take over once sure. you take your last breath. Absolutely. So you don't have time to rest. You right. rest when you die. Right. Right. You know. Uh, but the grind and the work, man. This this grinding, 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 man. It's a reason and it's a purpose behind it. Absolutely. And, and sometimes you don't you don't see the purpose until yeah, you know, yeah. years down the road, years later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there is a you know there, there's got to be. Uh, uh, Goal. You, you, you definitely want, uh, I, I definitely see it. You, you know, even when we look at the Bible, when they introduce someone in the Bible, they introduce the one who is the father, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and they live down the bloodline. Yeah. That's important. The bloodline is important. What they're giving you is a brief rundown of the legacy, yeah. what, what they have done before. And then with your name being mentioned, you better be able to bust some room and show that you are uh, a step on that on that on that on that um, stairs. Yeah, so right. that's what I want. And then a lot of times we'll leave our children and, um, and our grandchildren money without the knowledge and know-how of how to manage it and how to cultivate it and okay. how to, you know what I mean? So, so we bring it to my next point. We had this conversation on in the last last season about mm -hmm. reparations. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that reparation is necessary, but what's your thought from oh, America? From any standpoint? I think, um, you are? You know, all right, when we talk about from America, we, we, America hasn't changed. America is still America. You can't expect, a, you know, you can't expect a, 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 a criminal with, with the history of, of, of violence, and not to call it a criminal, by name, but by, by action. You can't take a criminal or rapist, uh, um, um, people who divide people, and segregate people, and alienate people, and enslave people, but still control the laws of everything everybody else do, and hold everybody accountable but themselves to be. Honest. And this ain't even, and, uh, and this is not a black issue or white issue. This is um, strictly uh, money. This is a money issue. So there's, there's, there's all ethnic groups and backgrounds that play a role in that because you know that trickles down. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't expect I don't expect anyone to do it for us. Did I go too far? Well, it's not necessarily too far, but what I'm hitting on is this. Like you said before, with your kids, if you don't give them uh, a blueprint on how to cultivate money, then what good is reparation if you don't have education to financial, financial literacy and money going? I think what we have to do, I think the first step in that is we have to look at, we have to teach our kids what money is. And money is, is, is a tool. Yes. So, you know, we don't glorify shovels. 
the nigga in the hole, right? Yeah. And we, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have to teach them, it's a tool, it, it, you know, we, and then you gotta look at, you know, those institutions and those industries that glorify it and make it a god. And then you gotta also hold yourself accountable for allowing that visual to, to reign that is for stand as it is. Because anytime you got money, just you know, you got the got the girls clapping in the back and they ain't talking about their hands. And you got the <laughs> you got the money in the air, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That what that tells a child who doesn't have a father figure is but they look like them. This is who this is this is success. Yeah. This is what this looks like. Our job is to but at the same time in most households we're struggling because we don't have that money flowing. Like those are two very different contracts. And um, I don't feel like we have to go I think the people that we go to for the help, the help, the jobs, the the, the, the the whatever, are the same people who kind of put us in those positions. So we gotta start with the N word and, and, and then some of the big boys in our community gotta step up and stop making that man and um, <laughs> start put that money into the use. So that we can yeah. I feel like everybody, everybody that's successful in their community, when I say the community, their hood, their city, like you know, there's a whole lot of rappers in Atlanta. Why are there still, you know, what I'm saying all these, all this poverty driven oh, things in Atlanta there you go. with Atlanta, yes. um, New yes. York, yes. Dallas, Texas. Chicago, right? It'll be part of the problem of the solution. Right. But a lot of them hands are tied because the people that told them to put the girls in the back and then come up with they can take that away. Like they are still employees. They still work for I mean I know they look really good, but they still work for other people. And that, you know, they see what happens. You know, yeah. They they can they can end your career, they can end your life. They got the money. So maybe so it really boils down to yes. Uh, leadership and education in order to be successful in order to know how to manage. When you became a man, you had somebody in your life that was coaching you or not? Nah, you know, I, I think a lot of us win it. I think a lot of us win it. I think um, a lot of us learn through um, trial and error. The only problem is some of us got trapped in the box for a couple of years. That's a harder lesson than yeah. me just kind of Nearly escaping and being like, okay, I don't do that no more. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, nine times out of ten, a lot of people spent years behind the wall to get those lessons. Yeah. And then some did not, never learn. Yeah. So they go back. I mean, my son, my dad told me you can um, you can be greedy for people. Mm -hmm. You can be a person that learns from your own mistakes. Mm -hmm. You can be a person that learns from other people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. Or you can be a person that never learned at all. Yeah. Mistakes are okay as long as you learn from them, as long as you can teach people at teach point yeah, and help yeah. the next generation not make the same mistake. And this is why I feel like people like yourself, uh, I have people I'm connected to. Yeah. It's so important because you can't depend on Martin Luther King anymore. Not to make they gone. Never ever you know, John Lewis is gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we are the the leaders for the generation coming yeah, up. Yeah. So if they don't know how to be a man, because they don't have any examples of what manhood looks like, yeah. they don't know how to be successful because there's nobody in their life that's being a short right. success. Right. That's why I don't mind doing these shows and doing stuff to show people success. Right. But not only that. I'm able to give people the blueprint to sure, the same sure. success, sure. and then they can they can have something to go by and say, well, sure. you know, these people, these men, these alpha men yeah. came into our life and, and was able to help us get to where we're going. Yeah. And, and the young men from 12 years old up to 32 years old yeah. who, who had that that that, that gap yeah. in their life that they need. Yeah. That's what I want to talk to. Yeah. You know, I want to help people making the same mistake that I made. Yeah. You know, being in the military. Yeah. You know, been in law enforcement, yeah. done been to prison for y'all who don't know, uh, was completely lost everything, mm -hmm. went from zero to the bottom, yeah. you know, and to where I am now, which is not my final destination, yeah. but yeah. it's a long way away from the yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure it's the same yeah. thing for you, coming yeah. up, you know, broken, you know, kind of stuff. Yeah. And 
now you're at a level of success where you were looked at as being a local celebrity. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's, 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 it's funny because Triangle, I've always said, um, I'm from Ringo, North Carolina. And um, Ringo, I'm um, definitely a lot of folks know me. Um, my goal has always been to get the rest of the world like me. I want everybody to, but it's not even for me per se. It's more so, like Alpha. Alpha is bigger than me. It's, it's a brand, it's a lifestyle. It's, it's, movement, it's how you feel when you put the, oh the, the big product on the inside. Even with the for y'all who don't know, you smell this fragrance. Just the smell of it gives you like 10% confidence in oh, what Lord. you're doing. I don't Lord. care where you're at. You can be bald and, and your beard can be messed up. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like that hair's in there full I'm and that beard is down to you. You feel like you got that going. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, the level of confidence. And so when people wear the, the shirts, the merchandise, um, everything I do is about empowerment. Be it for the ladies, be it for the men. Um, like, I mean, I got a shirt that you really got to be really confident to wear. It says, it's a sweatshirt. I am literally the flyest guy in the room. Now, that's not for the faint hearted. You can't wear this and be insecure. Oh, you can't wear this and, and have your insecurity show. So, like, when I wear this shirt, you can't tell me I'm not doing that. <laughs> you can't tell me not the man when you wear this shirt. There's only a certain person going to wear that. Look, I posted on Facebook a couple of days ago that uh, loving yourself yeah. and, and, and taking pride in what you do mm -hmm. is not narcissistic. Yeah, yeah. Or, or neither is it, uh, uh, what, I don't know what I put, but it's something along the lines of, uh, it's not conceited or narcissistic. It's just called being confident and being proud of what you are and who you are. Now, now there's levels to it. Yeah, if you're out there like um, my man from that old R B group with the mirror being shown, like, you know, <laughs> we're we look, for we, we, look we, we are in some times right now that people, everybody's so sensitive because of Everybody. the YouTube movement, the Black Lives Matter movement, yeah. and I mean the Corona, everybody's so sensitive, so, and, and, and we have gotten into a place where we don't really like communicate like we used to because sure. we got these masks on our face. Sure. The masks serve two purposes. It serves to, to keep the germs away, but also it serves to hide your, your, your facial feet. You don't know if you're happy or sad. When right. I used to see people, I used to be to, to, to yeah, judge yeah, yeah, yeah. what kind of mood they in by their smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you got to read the eyes because their mouth is covered up. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So in, in order to be in, a, be in a time where everybody's so sensitive, if you don't love yourself, bro, Bro. You need to get no love from nobody else. Yeah, it's not even the press out here right now. Yeah, and that's the reason why I decided to change the music that I'm going to make because, you know, I mean, my family is taking hits. I know many of the families is taking hits. And um, it's just, I, I know, like, just on normal holidays, a lot of people deal with depression. Um, I know definitely I, I wanted to do something that was going to Because, you know, people, People mourn in, in private. People, people can hide depression, hide a smile. Um, you definitely want to. I wanted to do something where you put your headphones on and just deal with it. Yeah, you know. And that's awesome, man. Because a lot of people can get it through music. Sure, you sure. have the power to change nation. You have the power Absolutely, to change the old era. Yeah. And if you get them with something. A certain song, yeah, bring it right about you. Yeah. I, I, I have a couple people. I have this uh, one young lady who was hitting me, and she's like literally, she's been um, listening to my music for I don't know, ever right, since three or four years. And um, she shared with me just what the impact of the music was for her. And I just think that you know, in my, in people not only strangers but people that I know personally that, that listen to the music and take away something like. That's, that's what we do it for, you know what I mean? People be dealing with stuff, and then they come back and share, like, these moments that they have, that they'll put on one of my records, like, so alive, if you're familiar with the music, and um, just kind of get through that, like, I don't even want to do anything else outside of musically. I want to I wanna make that music. I want to make that healing music. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while, I'll flex and let y'all know I'm still nice. <laughs> but, um, that's 
the apple side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got it. I know. I got it. Young boy. But um, yeah, yeah. But more importantly, it's more about the the healing process. Yeah, the, the therapy. Because uh, I'm now big on therapy. Um, next year I'm going to go to therapy and I'm going to do the mental health, the, the physical. I'm gonna do a whole thing, and uh, I'm probably gonna get a nonprofit that's going to encourage um, people of color, uh, specific community, to um, look at therapy as an option. Yes. Well, outside of yes. hey, look, if you do that, I'll be down with you. I'll be a supporter of it because yeah, yeah, you know yeah. that's that's one of the reasons why I'm, I started this so we can call. Yeah, 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 because you know we don't we yeah. feel like it's a sign of weakness. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We need some help or we some you know some some therapy. Or something. Yeah, but during this Corona, man, people have been really like the box in. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and I deal with people all the time, man. And just you wouldn't even know it. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. You have to we good at we good at yeah 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 you know but look at look at us we're, we're a proud people um, you, you make you can have no money and and, and, and you still got a million bucks yes you know and that's the majority of the rappers their first two or three years with a contract <laughs> like they even was the news driving a Bentley yeah you know like just hey, that contract. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I was listening to Snoop talking about one time until he met um, 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 Master P. He was like, I wasn't making no money. That's Snoop Dogg. He was like, Yo, we didn't make no money. Snoop, crazy. You got the number one song on the radio. Everybody gets to your song. You ain't got no money. You ain't no money. It happened to KLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it happened to them, you were working in a cubicle, driving a, a, a baby mama dance. You already know what it is, but that is what it is. I mean, like, we don't have to be that way. Like, if I need some help, I should be able to feel comfortable enough to go get it because that's more valuable. My peace, your yeah. peace is more yeah. important yeah. than anything else. Any flex, any any diamonds, any cars. These people have called us in the Simone Biles and all these people yeah. uh, who have, have, have opted out because they meant to help with good. They taught you anything that you taught you to say something to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you have a lot of people that, that you know, just really that you now, man. Like, yeah. yeah. And, and I like that for Simone. I like that she told she she allowed she she didn't allow them to make a story for her yeah. to make her yeah. the, 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 the 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 evil person. Yeah. Like she's like, no, I'm dealing with something. That was that was great for our young kids to see because a lot of our young people would rather just kill themselves than you know and ask for help. And not only that, you know, she was still cheering her team on. Sure, yeah. she wasn't in there. That's what she Some is. people would have been like, I ain't going there. Yeah. I'm not going in all yeah. that stuff. But speaking of a healing process, you know, we're going to twist me just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, the guy, what's his name? Howie Britton. What Britton Bach? What's his name? Rittenberg. Cali, Cali, Rick, 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 System designed to protect them. And all of these things, like all all of these images, like you, you knew what it was. When I heard, I, and I've been following the story like that because I've been working. But um, I, I think I heard something where the judge said that the, the people that got shot could not be identified as victims, and like all of these other things, but they could be um, identified as the aggression or something like that. Like that's so biased. And like that's like the sixties. It's already it's crazy, man. Because that's 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 your freedom riders um, all over again. So um when I look at that, um America has a one jail time sentence makes someone else rich. And you have that 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 situation where um, I can be a, a private citizen and I can have a way to lock people up, and I and then I can get paid for it. 
Yeah. And, I, and then and then I own the the, the music that they listen to. I own their images. Then I mean, I can we create that market. That's like we control the stock exchange. Yeah. I can I can open and close whenever I want. So like until we understand that. But me being in the mall, more important. What I have learned is we spend way too much money with people that do not look like us. Oh my God. Did you post that? You posted that morning, right? Did I? I posted a, uh, I posted a video of it. Yeah, yeah. Something of this guy saying that. Yes. That, that's one thing that the mall has taught me, like, this year is, like, we'll go with y'all for $20,000, $30,000 in the chain. And, um, uh, walk out and, 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 and walk by someone else. It was only, uh, me, I was the, the first African American with a kiosk in here. Um, not of all times, but never. Um, and then one of my customers opened up something, and then later someone came after him. Um, but yeah, like this, 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 this is different. Seeing how how because when they uh, when I come and, and, and ask them for you know do, do they want help. They walk away from me. They, because everybody knows that we support our own. We have it wrapped. Now, with that being said, I get amazing support. I get amazing support from my people. My people show up and show up. It's the ones that I don't get support from that I say I get to show up. And I know this probably sounds selfish. But I, I, I feel like everybody should rock with me. I feel like everybody should rock with him. I feel like everybody should rock with everybody. It's like, if you really knew me for real, you would you like me. You would rock. You would rock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, feel like, I feel like every successful person feels that way. Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense not to. Yeah. Yeah, like you say, if you spend money on, on other things and you support your own people, then how can you? But then whenever you get a business and somebody will support you, you yeah, manage yeah, it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I believe that you know what you what you sow into this world, you gotta reap it back. That's, so I make it my personal business to support the other entrepreneurs because I want yeah. somebody to support me. Like yeah. I didn't expect somebody to come and, and, and watch my show or support me sure. if I ain't watching somebody else's show. Right, right. If I'm not hitting the like button on somebody's video or whatever, right, right. I want that same in return. Sure, sure. And whether I get you know a, a sellout crowd or one person. I'm gonna do my job. Yeah, sure. I think Absolutely. that one person the same Absolutely. show that the hundred thousand people yeah. were. Yeah. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, when these big time um, comedians like um, Dave Chappelle and um, um, Chris Rock, what they do is they'll hit those those smaller circuits to show up and then they'll do their set in front of five, ten, fifteen, twenty people before they go. On so they work on their new jokes. You're never too big or too small to 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 do something. Yeah. Like I'm 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 scheduled to do an open mic night. Um I don't know it's open mic. I don't know it's, it's an it's an event. We're gonna do like two songs. Um with the band. Not yeah. after that we probably two or three years. But I ain't, I ain't gonna promote it. I'm not gonna tell it. Not because I don't want nobody to show up, because I don't want I I wanna do it with the people, you know, my people show up. I want the people who don't know me, because I, I still get, it's still nostalgic for me to win a crowd over. I still get excited to go in front of a, a group of people that don't know me, don't know and then have them sing the song by the end of it. Like, that's still dope, because I grew up, I mean, I grew up in the hip hop era where if you was not good, you would think you didn't have any problems other than And um, depending on your environment, a bottle may or may not could be flowing in the area. I never had that. I only been moved yeah. once, but that was my fault. Yeah. But, um, yeah. When you get booed, you learn how not to get booed, or you learn, you know, how to, yeah. how to accept it. We didn't do so well. We didn't do so well. We, yeah. We, we, yeah. yeah. We was young. But it was good. It was good. We almost tried to fight a whole city. Oh, wow. We oh, just okay. naive. Wow, wow. But to hear the story, when I heard the story back to me years later, they made it seem like we was like a hundred deep. We were really about twelve or thirteen. Years. But they the story like, always sounds different. When yeah, they was like, man, the boys showed up. They was deep. They was they were coming over here yeah. like um, uh, 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 some kind of mob. We were like, man, that Well, I understand that you have a lot going on, and I don't yeah. want to take that too much 
time. So before you know we get to the end, I want you to go over some of the products you have here. I mean, you know, how to use it, but people don't know. And just kind of give you a little background on the product. So this is the big serum. This is going to soften the big, good night nice shine, cold growth. I want to fly and fly. Um, definitely, if you see his beard, like he, like he did the gold tee before. This joint is, I've seen him go from like big, I think he's trimmed it up now. Yeah, I had to trim it a little. But um, yeah, this is what that does. This is um, Boaz. I got a single called Boaz as well. And you also have a single called well, the, the Grateful. Grateful, I got Grateful. Grateful, we're going to drop um, 2022. This is the waving curl but I use this because I sponge. Um, but my waves love it because it's um, really nice for the waves. Yeah, yeah, get you right. Get you right. <laughs> get you right. Now, yeah, somebody put the wave uh, curl on the beard, right? Yeah. They, 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 He's like, nah, 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 that other one. <laughs> so I was like, you know, I, had to, I got the bomb. I was like, the bomb? He's like, nah, 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 that other one. Clearly it says wave and curl butter. But yeah, whatever. It works. You love it. I like it. But um, yeah, so we just got all these different products. We got the ladies' products. This is Jordan. Jordan is one. This is a clean scent. And then we have. Miss Mango, which is my fruity scent. I produce sweet, it smells like mango. Um, pretty good products, all of them smoke growth, keep the hair nice and clean and shiny and growing. So, yeah. We got a whole lot of other products, hand yeah. sanitizers, yeah. Yeah. Um, body butter, so body scrubs, cologne, yeah, body sprays, nice. Shampoo, conditioner, shampoo, conditioner as well. Yeah. Hair shine. You know, yeah, for, yeah, for the ball yeah. men. Yeah, we ain't forgot y'all. That, that, that Michael we Jordan, Jordan George y'all. Barkley uh, shine. No, you gotta get your shine on. Literally, get your shine on. Get your shine on. Uh, but we do have, you know, men, men, J Lock, uh, okay, uh, yeah. Free to come out with the yeah. Lions Pride. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Lions Pride. Uh, uh, so I'll be coming out with my own Freak. Yeah, yeah. Pretty soon for yeah. Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. So we probably have it. Yeah, we probably. See what we can do about Black Friday. If not, it doesn't do for the Christmas holidays. Um, these, 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 these products um, all have their own fragrances. So yes. we gotta, we gonna have y'all smell like them. Both ain't gonna smell like the grateful, and the grateful like the original. And the original is not gonna smell like the Lion's Pride. No, no, no. Everything gonna be different. Everything gonna be different. You gotta keep it like that. We got so much turnaround and so many people support us. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, it's something about the hat. It's something about a good hat, man. It's yeah, man. Hat, got a, a nice hat, man. It just brings out the whole. And you can wear it with jeans, wear it with slacks and everything, and it just looks good. Yeah. Uh, but he just showed through his shirt. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to show you all inside the tent. So this is a. Uh, I'm working on my clothing line. Uh, this is exclusively for this show. Inside the tent, I have my guy to make this logo. Yeah. Uh, and you know we have come full circle, like I said, me and J Lock we met yeah. during the pandemic, and now he's opening up a store and then yeah. have products in it. So uh, what I want to do is. So, to, uh, to, to mark this occasion yeah. to have you on the show, this is, uh, this is my gift to you. Thank you, my t-shirt for coming inside the den. Yeah. You are welcome inside the den anytime you choose. Thank you. This is our first road show, so we had yeah. to bring the show to you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Next time you're on the show, I want you to come, come back. back to the den, Go on down to the den. I bring cigars. Uh, you smoke and cigars. You smoke cigars. You smoke cigars. And you sit cigars. on something, man. A, a little, you know, yeah. 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 whatever you want to drink. Sip on something. That, that'll be cool. Well, hey, on the rock. Whatever, whatever you want to drink, <laughs> we'll have it ready for you, brother, and we'll definitely um, appreciate that. I'm looking forward to the next time we talk. I know we're going to be a lot of transparency in the next time we talk. Absolutely. And uh, it's just been a pleasure, man, sitting here rapping with one of my, one of my friends and, and one of my little, you know, my hero, man, like uh, my mentor and everything. Uh, you have really uh, inspired me over the last 18 months to just go after that trend, man, uh, coming from a place of, <clears throat> shutdown. Who can make money during a shutdown? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who can make money during a shutdown? This guy. You know what I mean? Don't sleep. This man makes some money. Hey, man. This man makes we ain't money. talking about me right now. We're talking about you. <laughs> but yeah, just re really good. Anytime I call this guy on the phone, he's always able to talk to me, man, and just kind of yeah. chop it up. And we don't always talk business. Yeah. But we always talk man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's certain things that uh, it was understood. What, what, what is it? Uh, it's understood. Don't need to be said. Yeah, what's understood ain't got to be spoken. Sometimes we need to have a conversation about something, and we understand each other because yeah, yeah. we have the same like personality type, and uh, we just we rock it, man. I, I love you, brother. Love too, man. Everything you do for the community, man. Likewise. Look, your album coming out when? Uh, you know, I don't know. I might, I might pull well, Beyonce and just one, one morning. Stay you know, tuned for I the album dropping. Like. Stay tuned for the yeah, album yeah. dropping. J Lock coming out with a new album. Stay tuned for all the products we got coming out. What do you got, brother? Where, where you? Uh, where, where, where's the music? At? Uh, everything. Um, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. Um, uh, we got music up there now as well. Um, so you can go check out some of the music. Um, shout out to Dante Sharp who just got um, completely free of all the charges. We got yes. a record for him. Um, that, that's a banger. Go check that Dante Sharp out. Yeah, so question that for the audience. Man. We had a live audience, so y'all can keep them watching. Y'all can't see them, but we've been passing by watching. You got some questions for him? For Jay Lock, why he here? When did you know that this right here was your um, purpose? Uh, it's just a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a um, coming from music, like and, 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 and authors can agree with this. Like you know, or just creatives, you know, when you got something. You know what it looked like. You know, it, even though you never seen it before, but because you, you created it, right? When you create it and you look at it and you already know what it is, and it's like. Alright, we out of here. So my advice to creatives is trust your instincts. You know what I mean? Trust your instincts. And, and don't be afraid. Because there, there's everybody on this planet has a God given purpose. And you walk in that purpose, it's the most comfortable, it's the most peaceful, it's the most uh, serene and riding you can do. But a lot of times you're the first to do it. The person, your family, the person, your friend, the person, your community, maybe the first on the planet. That's okay though, because you was here to invent it, create it, build it, make it, produce it, write it, whatever. So it's just, like I'm at a place now where I can really trust my instinct. I know when you can do something. The um the Yahweh hoodie. People still wear things. Um, I got it. 
What a time, what a time What a time for a black man to be alive Living in the struggle while trying to keep our composure Killing each other while trying to look for that exposure We all just wanna make it, we should do it as a team Build each other up and they can't even say a thing Me and all my brothers just stuck together like glue It's us against the world and you know what we finna do ha. Woo! Pop a bottle, we in here for celebration We just wanna be the leaders that's pushing the generation Take a seat and find your zone for the topic of conversation yeah. Find a way for a positive revelation Now this really ain't the time to be thinking about yourself Cause we just a bunch of hustlers that's trying to give out some help yeah. We turn the cubs and the lions inside of the den Come and join the brotherhood if you really just wanna win Ay. Stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything yeah. I'm a lion, ain't nothing but anything we on fire, and my brothers, they on fire too And we'll fight for each other, that's what lines go The progression of the team is the purpose of our devotion You can see that we've been working and really having some motion None of it was given, you know that we had to hustle And that's just how it is when you coming up out the struggle They say it takes a village when you raising a child okay. And they all turn into your family after a while okay. We gotta feed into each other, show yeah. love to one another yeah. Not a race, but I know we can all finish the mile When we step up in the den, you letting go of your past You the only person that can really hold yourself back yeah. The pride and strength of a lion is truly your match okay. Everybody has it when you a part of the pack Now this ain't the type of place that'll judge you for who you are nah. We just get you on your way to becoming a super Star. Okay. I told you once before and I can tell you again Come and join the brotherhood if you really just trying to win What's up? Brothers need to stick together As a team we can make it wherever Just tell me how you feel Just tell me if it's real Brothers need to stick together As a team we can make it wherever Just tell me how you feel Tell me how you feel Just tell me if it's real I introduce myself. <laughs>